Hello everyone, this is Reza from Red Acad and today I'm going to show you how to use map visual in Power BI, the normal map visual uh, with uh, latitude and longitude and show these on the map. Let's check it out and see how it is working. The map visual in Power BI is uh, based on Bing map, which is the search engine and it has the ability to search for the location if you provide the address or if you provide the latitude and longitude, it will show and visualize points on the map based on latitude and longitude. Uh, which is what I'm going to show you now. Uh, this data set is Earthquakes of New Zealand. You can download this data set from my blog uh, page link down uh, below in the description. Uh, in this data set, I have a latitude and longitude of the locations of each earthquakes and their magnitude. Uh, let's say I want to visualize it. So I click on load, loading this data. Um, and I'm going to use the normal map visual. When I use, when I say normal map visual, I mean uh, this map visual, the one that is the uh, default map, not ArcGIS. Uh, so let's say I add that map visual in my page. And using latitude and longitude on this map is really simple. I just drag uh, latitude to latitude and longitude to longitude. If you drag it on top of the visual itself, because these fields are like uh, numeric, then it might come as the size or other fields which might not show you the point. Or alternatively, you can select these fields and set their data category in the modeling tab to make sure that they always go to the right place. Um, so here is the map visual now showing those points. Now, one thing about map visuals, uh, many of map visuals, is that because they uh, show you points, and if you have so many data points, they will be slow in rendering, it's not recommended to show like a lot of points in the map visual. Uh, you can see how it looks like and it will be a slow. Uh, so what I'll do is I will apply a filtering. Let's say I bring magnitude to the to the filter. Let's say I say magnitude and I say if magnitude of this is greater than or equal to 5.5, apply filter, right? Uh, and now you see I have much less uh, data points. One of the things about this visual is that every time I do uh, a change, this will zoom out. Like for example, if I bring magnitude to the size as well, again, this zooms out. One of the really good things about this visual, uh, which is helpful, is you can turn off the auto zoom. The way that you can do it is go to the format tab, under map controls, turn auto zoom off. Also, some people prefer to have like zoom buttons as well. Usually you can do zoom in and zoom out by mouse or the um, touchpad or things like that. But um, having these buttons can be also helpful because then you get the minus and plus as well, right? So um, here is the map showing all of these points. And even if that location is not somewhere on the land, if it is somewhere in the ocean, it will still show that location. Now with this type of map, you have the option to uh, change the size of bubbles if you want to, uh, or you have the option of changing the map style from road, you can change it to aerial, map or any other types of maps, you can choose that. Uh, and you also have the option to change it to heat map. And when you change it to heat map, you see these heat points as well, which you can change actually the radius of these heat points, change their units and things like that. So it can be uh, quite useful sometimes to show these heat points. I'm going to go back to the normal bubble map. Uh, very simple to use, very useful, especially when you have latitude and longitude, it will uh, point to the right location and you can see those uh, information over here. This map also supports having the location, which in another video, I'll explain how to use this map with a location that you specify the location and what are tips and tricks for doing that. 
Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe uh, to our channel, give us a thumbs up. We have uh, weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.